Oh, well, hey, Biscuits, fancy seeing you here. Do you come to this YouTube channel all the time? I knew you did, I thought so. <laughs> so I wanna share my story about going from one to two kids. Um, I waited a long time between my kids because my son is somewhere on the neurodivergent spectrum and is what you would refer to as a difficult child. He has, he has a lot of needs that have to be met, a lot of sensory issues. Um, and it was just a really difficult decision to, I, I had always wanted a big family, um, but his toddler years in babyhood were incredibly difficult. Um, like, you know, to the point of tears. And it really made me like, could I go through another kid like that? And I really, I finally decided, okay, I really want another kid. I would love my son to have a sibling. I would love to experience having another kid. Um, but it was, it was a big decision. I spent years thinking about whether I wanted another kid. Um, so my kids are six years apart, which is a pretty good chunk. I mean, I come from a family where the oldest and youngest are like 13 years apart. So to me, six years wasn't that big. But now that I've had them, I'm like, oh, I see what people were saying. Six years is a big difference. Um, obviously developmentally, because you know, baby to six year old, but I gotta say, you know, my daughter is one and a half, my son is eight, and what they need from me is really, really different. And that can be difficult to balance because the younger child always gets more of my attention because she like actually needs it, right? You know, I can't leave her in a room on a company because she's a little tiny toddler. Um, so it has been really tricky to balance. I can't say it's been a good experience getting them to get along. My son has real issues with impulse control. So we really struggle with him not hurting her still to this day. Um, that has not settled down. And my son has really big jealousy feelings over his sister to this day, a year and a half later. Um, he has not adjusted well to it. My little daughter adores her big brother, thinks the world of him, follows him around, watches him. It's just like, so excited by him and then he you know is mean to her and then she's oh what's going on why don't you love me so it's been a really tricky balancing act um and i think that that's because of their personalities i think the six years isn't a big deal if you have kids that get along well and they can share and coexist well my kids don't do that very well and it's really caused a lot of strain the last year in our family um that my son just hasn't been able to process and do the impulse control that we need him to do at eight years old to not uh, torment his sister constantly. So I don't think six years is a bad age uh, spacing at all. I think if I were to have another kid, a third, I'd probably wanna space them like maybe four years apart. Six years felt a little bit big between because they really can't play a lot together because they're just such different ages. Um, which is great that we're like, we're an independent family, you know, but I feel like if I had had uh, a second kid when my son was like three or four, it would have been easier for them to play together. But then there also would have been a lot of jealousy because it would have been the same toys they're playing with. Um, so I don't think six years is a bad at all spacing, but I do think that it's trickier for parents because what they need is very different from us and they need it simultaneously. So that can be a little trickier. Um, I don't, I don't think I would pick it as the perfect age gap. I think probably like eight or nine years apart or like three or four is better because then, you know, if they're eight or nine, they're a little more independent. They're off doing their own thing. And if they're a little younger then they could still go to like toddler stuff together. And what we discovered when we were homeschooling is that my son was too old to go to almost any of the sibling activities with my daughter. I would have to get like special permission from people um, to bring him because he was like, normally the cutoff was five, um, five and then their, their little sister or their little sibling. And so it really was tricky that a lot of people were just not, no one had thought of homeschoolers with big age differences that would want to go to toddler or baby activities. And so that was really hard on us because every time we would get shot down about can Abraham come, and you know, you don't wanna have a babysitter for everything you wanna do with the other kid. You want them to do things together. Um, we are trying out mainstream public school. And so that opens up our schedule a little bit more for what to do with baby 
but again they have really different needs that need to be simultaneously met so it could be really tricky um, so it's probably not my favorite age difference group but I don't think it's inherently bad I think it really depends on your kids personalities um, for me I really like spacing out pregnancies because I have really difficult pregnancies um, my second pregnancy was even worse than my first which was impressive because my first was really bad um, so it was nice to have an older kid that could go get themselves a juice from the fridge when I was like really sick and vomiting all day constantly uh, I think that would have been extremely hard if my kids had been closer in age because of how difficult my pregnancies are so that's really nice um, so if you have hard pregnancies I highly recommend like spacing them out a little bit more I felt like my body had more time to recover from having my son obviously because it was six years apart um, and it was just a lot easier on my body and having an older kid um, you know a kindergartner age kid is they can understand that mommy's not feeling well better than like a two-year-old can um, so I got asked like do you recommend this this age spacing I'm like yeah I think it's a fine age spacing I think it really depends on your family how your pregnancies are and you know how do your kids how are your kids personalities gonna mesh together um, so I don't think it's a bad age grouping I think there's probably ones that would be easier but I also feel like sometimes you just have to go for it like women only have a short window where we can have kids really if you think about it over a whole lifespan um, so sometimes it's got to be less about the kids and more about you. Like, what do you want? What age group do you prefer? Do you want your kids doing toddler activities together? Do you want them really separate and off doing their own things? Um, are you a homeschool family where you have a lot more flexibility with all that? So I think it really depends. Um, I mean, we love, we love my daughter. It's so fun to have another member of the family. Um, she has reignited my interest in having a bigger family because it's been such a different experience raising her um and that's really nice that's been like really healing from my mommy heart and my trauma from raising you know kids on the spectrum can be traumatic for moms and i feel like we don't talk about this a lot i mean like i adore my son i love him he is funny and smart and sweet but he's not a child that's like easy to raise and I feel like that has caused a lot of trauma and it's really nice to be experiencing motherhood again and to have given myself that space to get through his, his my son's toddler years to then have another toddler. Um, so yeah, go for it. I say whatever age grouping, age spacing you're having with your kids, you gotta look at what works for you as the mama. And it's great to think about the kids, but also like, will it work for you as a mama? That's a really important question. Okay, Biscuits, I will see you on Instagram. I will see you on Patreon where we are going to be our fabulous burlesque self-care biscuits. We're basically our own advent calendar at this point of fabulous self-care concepts to make our life glorious and happy and just finding that energetic flow of ease for the rest of the year. I love y'all biscuits. <laughs>